Kanab goes on, and we'll return with more in a moment. Alexander Memorial Coliseum hoping for the same effect in boxing. David Reed of Philadelphia in the ring against Won Kyung Lee of Korea. That's Reed in the red, Lee of Korea in the blue. And Russ, the Koreans have won, and uh, well, they have a couple of styles, but the predominant one is straight ahead. They never let up. Well, their first, their first style of attack is straight ahead, and if that doesn't work, what they do is they go straight ahead faster, and if that doesn't work, they go again, they go ahead even faster. So, so it's the same style with about four different. That's right. <laughs> David Reed, part of the Philadelphia trio of boxers on the USA boxing team, uh, trying to make it 3-0 and for Philadelphia early in this very active bout. And Scott, I know this guy, David Reed, very well. Hercules Cabellos, my boxer, fought him in the semifinals at the Pan American Games and was stopped on a cut eye in the second round by David Reed, but he told me this guy's got some good power. And surprisingly enough, most of the times out of Philadelphia, it's the left hook that's the deadly weapon, but David Reed's got a deadly right hand as well, and you'll see him pull back a little as if he's moving away and then stepping forward with the right hand. Two other Philadelphians on the U.S. boxing team, Terrence Coffin and uh, Zahir Rahim, they've already registered victories. Philadelphia is the hometown of U.S. head coach Al Mitchell. Overall, by the way, in this tournament so far, the Americans 6-1 and one after Eric Morrell lost to Romero of Cuba earlier today. Good body shots by David Reed. Even though we haven't been seeing them coming up on the scoreboard, they do set up a good head attack. Once you go downstairs, you get the opponent to drop his hands and then come upstairs. And body shots do not often get the attention of the judges at ringside who are scoring the butt, but they certainly get the attention of the opponent. The Korean holding on. Ron Kim Lee is 22 years old, the 95 Korean national champion, started boxing in 88, the year of the Seoul Olympics. Uh, in fact, uh, that was the year that amateur boxing as an Olympic sport almost died, Russ. Yeah, that was where all the controversy began with Roy Jones against the Korean in the finals, and there were other controversies there, one after the other. As a result of that, they have, the AIBA implemented the computer scoring system. You know, I'll tell you, David Reed, you've got to know he's a good, strong puncher because the Korean is the one doing the backpedaling now, and that's rare to see them do that. There's a good right hand over the top from David Reed. Again, the right hand. Landed flush on Wong Kung Lee. And then the left hook behind it. Now Reed starting to pull away in the final minute of the first round. <laughs> and this, again, has been evident. You know, a big lead early for the Americans, and once they've gotten the lead, they've never looked back. Reed started boxing at age 12 because his mother preferred him to fight in the ring and not on the streets. Moved up from 67 kilos to 71 this year, and naturally everyone has been on the lookout for a loss of speed and a loss of power. Uh, nothing evident at all in this fight. No, he grew. He wasn't just put into the weight class. He grew into the weight class. He was having a difficult time making 67K, 147 pounds, getting bigger and stronger, and it's natural. He just moved up in weight class, and with that came the power and the speed, so... No problem for David Reed at this way. He's got the crowd behind him. He's also got the lead by four points as the first round comes to an end. You hear Al Mitchell saying you're sitting down a little too much. They want, they want to keep the Americans fluid. You know, they want to keep them fluid with their punches. And the Korean, this is what he can't afford to do. He can't afford to keep those hands down and get caught with shots like that. Those are giveaway points. You see David Reed's hands are up nice and high, finishes with the left hook. The Korean can't afford to open that target up and just be a sitting duck for shots because if the opening is there, David Reed's going to take it. Keep yourself a little bit more room. All sorts of talk heading into this tournament. The American team was in decline. But certainly, to this point in the tournament, 6-1 and one with uh, threat to go to 7-1 and one if David Reed beats Wan Ken Lee. Second round. And that suggests it's a very strong team, Russ. A very strong team. They're boxing well. They've come in. You know, we didn't expect them to be as strong as they are. You know, their, their performance over the last couple of years has not been as good as they had expected. They've had difficulty adapting to the system, and here they are with only one loss, looking for win number eight. Second round underway in this preliminary light middleweight bout. David Reed of Philadelphia in the red. Won Kyung Lee of Korea in the blue. The instructions out of the American corner were give yourself a little bit more room to punch. Reed, 95. 
gold medalist at the Pan Am Games at welterweight, but he was stopped by Cuba's Juan Hernandez in a World Championship Challenge. Cuba in this class, uh, represented by Alfredo Duvergal, who will fight later. Much of the reason that Reed moved up a class, Russ, besides the fact that he grew into it, was to avoid meeting Hernandez, the Cuban, the three-time world champion. Reed lost to him four times. He's hoping to fare better against Duvergal, whom he could only meet in the gold medal final in this class because they're on opposite sides of the draw. Yeah, I, again, the Americans had a wonderful draw. You know, I mean, although everybody, like we've said, in the weight class is tough, we're talking about the top 32 in the world. You know, they could have had a lot worse draw than this. And to know that you don't have to worry about the Cuban until the gold medal round, that's pretty good. We're showing a lot of boxing during the Olympic Games, so this is worth mentioning. This computerized scoreboard, which is uh, put up on the bottom left-hand portion of the screen, will always have the boxer in red on the top, the boxer wearing the blue on the bottom. So corresponds to the 8-2 lead for David Reed right now, halfway through the second round. Do you think the fans could see you pointing to your monitor, showing which is on top and which is on top? That was for your benefit, Russ. I see. Korean scored a good job earlier before that caution of the referee, and nothing came up. But he counted. David Reed sees that opening with the right hand. That left hand of Lee's is way down, and that right hand keeps coming over the top. And, I mean, the Korean has to think, how's he going to make up eight points at this stage of the fight? with keeping his hands down and opening a target for David Reed, who's sharpshooting. Out of five boxers in the 71 kilogram of white middleweight class, and uh, I'm not sure that David Reed would be among the top five wrestlers. Oh, well, going into this, maybe not because of the overall what they expected of the Americans, but fighter for fighter, he definitely he is. A hard and right. he's showing it. Reed tried to move in for the kill, but he certainly got the attention of Wan Kung Lee with a couple of thundering rights. Now the Korean, appearing perplexed against the style of David Reed. Reed in complete control, final 30 seconds of round two. You know, it's bad enough you can't go out there and have porous defense on, in any system against any fighter. I mean, pro or amateur, old system or new system. But boy, on this computer scoring system, you've got to close up that scoring target against these world-class fighters. I mean, the Korean is wide open. Unless you are definitely skilled at moving your head out of the way, the way we saw some of the earlier fighters where they can drop their hands and roll their head out of the way, you can't afford to do that. And the Korean, certainly, that's not one of their fortes. Now, with the lead that he has, David Reed can afford to do it. We saw Tolaganov uh, do it in an earlier bout, but the Korean certainly cannot afford to do it. Well, Tolaganov does it and moves his head when the punch comes and gets out of the way. Uh, the Korean's not moving his head at all. He's just keeping it, he's keeping it there like a sitting duck in a shooting gallery. Uh, Reed heads to his corner. Let's hear it. Uh, we'll see if we can hear what Al Mitchell is saying to him. Right hand, step over here, then come back with right hand. Look at the lowered right hand. There it is, the lowered left hand, and the right hand gets right over the top. Hopper cuts underneath as he punches, as David Reed punches his way out from the inside. And again, the right hand over the top. Again, the right hand over the top. Now, after you've gotten hit with about the first 49, you know, you'd start to think, maybe I should get that left hand up. A complete shutout in that round for David Reed. 5-0 in the second round. 11-2, the count as uh, they start round three with Reed well in front. Now, Russ, uh, this is a thing that we've discussed before, but undoubtedly Reed will be told in the corner what the score is, or at least that he has a substantial lead. So when he comes out for the third round, will he remain on the attack, or will he start backing up and try and stay out of trouble? If he starts, Not that Wong Kung Lee can offer him much trouble. Well, I'll tell you something. If he starts to back up and gives the Korean the momentum to come forward, that would be, in my opinion, a wrong mistake. What's working for him here is the fact that he's keeping the Korean backing up, and that's what's working, and that's what's getting him the points. Now look for him in maybe the last minute or last 45 seconds to start laying off, but don't expect to see David Reed take any unnecessary chances. So let's reset the scene for you. Round three of this light middleweight preliminary bout. David Reed of the USA against Won Kung Lee of Korea. It's Reed in the red, Kung Lee of Korea in the blue. Now you see the Korean has gone to plan C, which is to go forward faster. But he's got to get those hands up, and now it's a little too little too late. You're right, he tried going forward, then he tried going forward with some speed, now he's trying to go forward faster. Yeah. 
What is plan D, Wes? What, I don't know, I, and what plan D is is not going to work either because this, this is too far of a margin for him to make up because what's going to happen is every time he does get into punching range, David Reed, instead of moving away, is going to move in on the inside. And when they get on the inside and they're up chest to chest, that completely closes down the scoring target so the Korean won't be able to land any punches when he's on the inside. And there's the right hand again over the lower left hand of Lee. 16th scoring blow for David Reed in this fight. Uh, throughout the Olympic Games tournament, we've seen some two and three point deficits made up in round number three, but nothing in the area of 13 or 14 points. And Besides that, it's not reasonable to suggest that uh, Wan Kyung Lee has the ability to come back on David Reed. No, and uh, David Reed has too much ability to let him come back from that. See the way he's tying him up on the inside? And not really holding, just tying him up, blocking his arms, smothering him on the inside. You will not see a scoring blow land by any of the judges when the fighters are that close. They just will not score it. They don't consider it to be forceful enough. They don't consider it to have the weight of the body behind it. Look at this, hand speed from both fighters, but David not Reed. Point. Oh, not, not a point, point. see? The crowd and Look it. at that, four punch combination from David Reed. Front by 14 now. The crowd loves the flash, but the, the, the judges just won't score it. But what it does is it keeps the opponent on the defensive. And like I said, with 45 seconds left to go, there he is, side to side movement, boxing smart. David Reed joined the Nation of Islam last year and says he'll change his name after the Olympics. He's got boxing bloodlines, Wes. He's a cousin of former pros Jimmy Young and Boogaloo Watts. Boy, if he can punch him, he can punch like Boogaloo as well. Nice movement, left hook scores by the Korean. You see when they get... Oh, oh my goodness! Did you see that? Wow! Now, I'm not mistaken, that was a knee to the groin area. You are not mistaken, sir. That was right in the knee there, taking a point away. He should be disqualified, you're right. Throw him out of the building, that's the, it. The referee can do it at his discretion. For a flagrant violation, he can disqualify a fighter. There is absolutely no place for that in amateur boxing or boxing of any sort. Taking a point away is for an unintentional foul, which often occurs in boxing. A flagrant intentional foul with a knee to the boy. There's no real, throw this guy out of the building. That well, is out of the tournament over. in any case because David Reed has taken care of business. And if, David Re if I was David Reed, I wouldn't go anywhere near that corner. I wouldn't go shake his hand. He should have been thrown out of the building for Doesn't that. look like Reed has any intention of going over to the Koreans' corner. Well, there he goes now. Now ah, he's a perfect gentleman about it. Yeah, but the Korean wasn't a perfect gentleman, was he? I think that flagrant violation uh, simply made the victory more enjoyable for David Reed and the uh, fans here at the Alexander Memorial Coliseum. I wonder if we'll see it on the replay and see if something enticed the Korean to do that. Because all we saw was the Korean throw the knee up. He gets way down there. And no! Oh. No need for that. And oh, they are irate in the corner. No reason for that. Russ, there is a language barrier, but the Korean embraced David Reed. I suspect he tried to apologize. Yeah, it's always easy to say I'm sorry. Uh, my, my little daughter always says sorry is just a word. Well, now we'll get confirmation of the decision. The referee has no business to do that either, to pull David Reed's hand down. No reason for that. There it is. David Reed, the decisive victor in this preliminary bout. 20 to 4 of the final count. I'm sure the Koreans tried to apologize, but it's all too late. And our coverage of the Centennial Olympic Games will continue in just a moment. Welcome to the Georgia World Congress Center for the...